Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to fix the rear parking sensors, or park aid, whatever Ford calls them. Unfortunately, if you don't have a professional scanner, this isn't gonna help you out, but you're gonna see how it's done. But instead of using an OEM sensor from Ford, which are over $100, I got some cheap Chinese ones for $8 and we're going to see if they're going to work or not. And here they are right here. I only need one but I got two as backup. So what I'm going to use to diagnose what sensor is bad is a Snap-on Solus Pro scanner. It's an older model I picked up for 500 bucks, but it works like a charm. Plug it in, let it boot up. My vehicle's already been on here a few times, just got to load her up. There it is, 2006 Ford F-150. Now we need to scroll down. Maybe it's in functional tests. No, it's not in any of those. We need to go into um, parking aid module. Key on engine off self test. C1701 rear out left sensor fault. And that's the one we need to fix. And the rear outer left one is obviously this one right here. So that's the sensor right there. So what you see on the side is a couple tabs. One right there, one opposite. You gotta lift those tabs and then push. While you're lifting on those tabs, you gotta push on the sensor. And once you push it out, you just disconnect the wiring. So this tab here, you just lift it, and then you pull the sensor out. Well, that's the old sensor. You can see the bottom of that glass is chipped. I don't know if that matters. Here's a cheap $8 one. So when you put it back in, you put your thumbnail on that end right there to push that tab up so you can get it out. And then, push back in the hole. There we are, new one's plugged in. Let's see what's gonna happen. So now we're back inside. Let's do the um, key test. See if we still get a code show up. No codes present, look at that. I wonder if we can review some data. Left outer 255. Looks like we're all right. Well, let's do the old test now. Well, that settles that. Kind of a waste that you can't access that code by regular OBD scanner. It's unfortunate because the fix is super easy, something you can do yourself. I just repaired it with an $8 Chinese sensor. I have no clue how long it's gonna last. If it's gonna last a day, a couple hours, a year, who knows? That's gonna be determined. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. And I wanna thank you guys for watching.